Joe, what's happening? What's up, Carl? How y'all doing? Good morning, good morning. How's everybody doing? You are now listening to WOOM 92.9 South Philadelphia Community Radio. I hope everybody is enjoying the show. Mm -mm. I don't know what's going on right now. Two one two. Let me move this thing around here. Let me see here. Some technical difficulty. How's everybody doing? I hope I hope you guys are enjoying this. Pretty good weather. Um, today is Wednesday. You know what day it is. You know what time it is. Time for another live edition of the show. What is going on here? Oh my goodness. Well, we're going to keep, we're going to fight through it. I don't know what's going on with the mics today. But, uh, There we go. I got it now, y'all. Now we cooking with grease. All right. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to another live edition of the 623 Lives Matter radio show on WOOM 92.9 South Philadelphia Community Radio. It's good to see you guys. Everybody that's watching on Facebook Live, we appreciate you. Everybody that's listening on the air, thank you for tuning in. Uh, We're going to get right into it. Uh, yesterday, well not yesterday, last week, uh, might have been a week, and a, a week and a half ago, uh, I got a call from a guy that, you know, he's been doing, he's been in this union, um, for a long, long time, and he was, t- you know, talking about some things the IBT may be planning to do in the future. Now, as it stands right now, um, in order to get um, a candidate to run for office uh, for as general secretary, treasurer, general president of the Teamsters, things like that, you got to have at least 5% delegates or something like that in order for them to get put on the ballot. You got to have 5%. Well, this, this person told me that they plan on boosting up that number to 10%. And the reason why they're doing that, of course, you know, uh, a lot of our members don't participate. Now, this is just something that, you know, he told me. But then over the past weekend, I believe I was reading it somewhere where it said that um, this could be a possibility that the IBT would do this. And the reason why they want to, you know, up that threshold to 10% because they know that, not a lot of people participate when it comes to the delegate elections to get people on the ballot uh, to run against Hoffa and his regime. And and I recall when we was there in 2016, 
there were a couple of members uh, from our joint council and other joint councils there that were saying that the the cost of the convention and the election cost the Teamsters a lot of money and we shouldn't have them because, you know, there's not a lot of people that, number one, show up in, a po in opposition against Hoffa. Because if you guys remember, um, the Teamsters United slate couldn't get any candidates from uh, the West. And that's particularly because of that threshold they couldn't meet. So, um, if they do this, I, I think, you know, we're going to have to really, really, starting now, get our people together and make sure that we have enough people out at the convention to make sure this doesn't happen. Um, you know, we, we can't ha have them raise that threshold because what they're really trying to do is monopolize who they can have running, you know, the IBT. You know, it, it has to be somebody from the Hoffa camp. It, it, that's what they want. So we're going to have to make sure that we, you know, get our, get our ducks in a row, get our people together, and make sure we get out there in 2021. And it's not that long. It's not that long. We're going to have to make sure we get the people out there. Because what's going to happen, if we don't get the people out there and... They passed, you know, this 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 resolution or uh, amendment or whatever you want to call it to the Constitution to raise the threshold. Then it's going to be a problem because there's not a lot of people to run in the, in the delegate, com you know, elections to get, you know, people on the ballot. You know, it's, it's very, very difficult because not a lot of people show up. So we need to really pay attention to this, keep our eye on it and make sure that this doesn't happen. Because if it does, it's, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. They're really trying to, like I said, it's bad enough they didn't want us to be able to vote for new leaders in um, the IBT elections. But now we have that right, and now they're trying to do something to take that away. So we got to make sure we do something about that. What's up, Jackie? What's going on? Now, there's a lot of rumors going on. And um, I don't know if they're true or not, but I keep hearing them and from different people. I got a text last night, a few texts last night, that our president uh, of our local, Bill Morris, is uh, planning on running with uh, Rob Wartenby and Tommy Cowan. So, you know, now I heard that like three or four times. Then a person that I'm real tight with from Oregon Avenue, he sent me a message confirming that. So if that's true, if Billy Mars is really running with Wharton B and Tommy, then the, the our incumbents, man, they're in worse shape than we thought. I mean, they are in worse shape than we thought. So it looks like they're gonna be, everybody hated another slate, three slates. But again, it doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter at this point. You guys know what to do. You guys seen what we're about. You just got to put it on paper. That's just the bottom line. You know what I mean? That, that's, that's, that's just the bottom line. It doesn't matter how many people run. It doesn't matter who run. You guys know what you need to do. And let's just get it done. Um, again, I want to say thank you guys for what you guys did for us and did for each other. As far as this bylaw amendment, uh, we, I got a flyer that I have already printed out, and I'll probably start passing it out tomorrow. And it just goes in telling everybody thank you for for what you did for us with the you know the signing the petitions and and um, coming out to the hall and standing proud and voting it in. And then it has some bullet points. Uh, I don't know, Jackie. I don't know why. Can, can everybody else hear me? I don't know why, what's going on. But uh, the flyer, like I said, it has some bullet points. Some of the things that we plan on doing if we get elected. But uh, the main thing, we just want to tell everybody thank you for what you did. That bylaw amendment was very, very, was very, very big and it was crucial to what we plan on doing once we get elected. You know what I mean? It's, it's, transparency is one of the things that 
you got to have, especially in this day and time with so much corruption and collusion and this, that, and the other. People don't know how to trust. You know, they don't know who to trust. What's going on, man? Yeah. And so we, we want to be as, as, as close and, and, and personal and upfront and transparent as we possibly can because we understand what's going on, especially in the union. A lot of stuff going on. You hear it all the time, but this person got caught up in some stuff they weren't supposed to get caught up in, and then it just it just leaves a bad taste in people's mouth. So we really want to be upfront and, like I said, and, 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 and transparent with everything that we do. And I was telling them, and, uh, and before you got here, I don't know if you heard me, um, about the rumor. But I think it's true now. Room. It's true now. It ain't rumor. Uh, Mars, Wharton, B, and Tommy. All right. No, it ain't rumor. So last night, uh, your man came up to me. Mm -hmm. And he said, Jump, I ain't voting for you. I said, Well, what I do now, right? They said, Jump, did you say that you're going to put a grievance oh, in? Oh, yeah. Okay, now, uh, let's clarify. Here's what we said. We said, Oh, I said, Clarence was with me on it. He talked to me this morning. What we said was that I had a member come up to me. He said, jump. I had a 22-3 with three months, got moved to the ramp. Right. I got 20 years. I should have been allowed the opportunity to go out there, right? He said, jump. I want to put a grievance in for my seniority, right? We got people on preload saying the same thing. They moved 45 people. They reclassified them. That's what they said now, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to get back to reclassify, right? Mm -hmm. They reclassified them, right? I got people on tw 20 years on pre though saying, jump, I should have been allowed to go to that job. Right. So it's their right to put the grievance in. Yeah. So I told the guy, I said, listen, dude, listen, 45 people ain't going to vote for me. I'm sorry they ain't going to vote for me, right? I told him, yo, we represent a union, 5,100 members we got an answer to, right? right? If they say they're unhappy with the 45 moves, they like, they're allowed to put a grievance in. That's what I said. I said, if they come up and they say they want to put a grievance in, that's what I said. The, the people are saying they want to put grievance in. It might not go nowhere, right. but that's their right. That's their right. That's I can't tell for. them no. Right. That's what happened. Right. Now, I reclassified. So the same guy, I said, listen, we know you to come down your main man. I said, we need for you to come down the radio. Now, he broke it down to me, right? Mm -hmm. What did he say down in Union Hall? He said that we moved on 45 people to the ranch. Because we get more planes than bigger planes. Ain't that what he said? Mm -hmm. That's what reason, right? Now, my man last night, he said, Joe, if you only come down the hub Tuesday and Thursday, he don't know what he's talking about. I said, we talking about? He's the PA. That's his area, right? He said, Joe, listen. First of all, it's not re really reclassified. I said, what do you mean? He said, Joe, we was on loan to the hub. I said, yo, dude, which one is it? You loaned, you reclassified or what? He said, Joe, we was on loan to the hub, right? Mm -hmm. Then they said, furthermore, John Altell didn't want it. John Altell said we had to get done 9 o'clock instead of 10 o'clock. He can't use it. So he got mad, and he said, they can go to the ramp. I don't want them. He said, I need somebody to take 10 o'clock. So now which one is it? John Altell saying you, we need y'all at 10 o'clock? Right. Reclassified? Or you alone? Which one is it? What are we going to tell the members? I don't know. What are we going to tell the members? So he's like, he went on and on and on, on, right? So I was like, yeah. I said, well, listen, we need you to come down. To the radio show and tell the people. I said, he can't keep hearing it from He said, Jim, I ain't come down there. <coughs> I said, we'll call Hooker and tell Hooker what happened, right? He said, Jim, by the way, at three or four slates running. I'm like, I listen, anybody can run. Right. Anybody can run. I said, listen, I asked people to back down, let Hooker run this time. It's his time. And if Hooker ain't, if, if they ain't not happy with Hooker in three years, I run with them. I mean, I back them. Right. Buy shirts and everything, right? I said, listen, dude, it is what it is. I said, it's a free country. Right. So everybody right. hollering. They talking about jump. You holding the row up. You holding the row up. I like, yo, dude, you see me? So they talking about jump. You holding everything up, right? <laughs> okay. I said, this dude got a serious, you know what I mean? Right. So they, I said, yo, I said, so listen, if you don't vote for me, nothing I can do. But I'm always going to tell the truth, right. and I'm always going to represent the members. Right. Now, that's what it is, right? Well, they said jump. Finley said you voted, yes, and behind closed doors, and you came out and you voted, sold it to vote, no, right? I said, that's why we had the ATM, the bylaw change. Right. That is the reason why we really got it, right? right. I said, we won't have that no more. Right. You know, we won't have that problem no more. Jumbo voted this way, Jumbo voted that way, right? I mean, because people don't organize, so I'm going to tell them, they said you voted yes from behind closed doors, right? I'm like, what? <laughs> so what being all of them was telling them that, right? right? So now, far, like we said, I heard Hooker talking about the... Sleeps. Yeah, they're talking about three or four slates. Listen, listen. Everybody knows it has to be a change. We hope we win. I hope you vote for Hooker. You don't have to vote for me, but vote for Hooker. Vote for Hooker. Everybody seen what he did. 
You know what I mean? He needs to be the man. You know what I'm saying? Now, did you talk about what happened yesterday with the principal officer and the vice president? No, I, uh, I didn't get to that point yet. I didn't get to that point yet. All right, so we had a uh, – <laughs> what happened is Clarence Bagby at the shop store for preload. He's doing a great job. He's doing a better job than Matt Gilbert. Go ahead, Matt Gilbert. I know you're going to beat me up tonight. Matt Gilbert is good, but Clarence is great. He's doing a good job. So they had a hearing yesterday. Shanahan came down and said, I don't want you in the hearing. Yeah. Him and the vice yeah, president. He told me. He so told they me. did the hearing, right? So it was with two 22 threes, right? And six hours or four hours. It was four and a half hours they were trying to get. Four and a half? Four and a half? Uh, five. I was trying to get five hours, right? So. The point of it is, right, they say, Jim, that means they put it up on, they never post nothing like yeah, that on Facebook I know, about you. I, I know, they say, I yo, know. I was, I we went in there with the principal officer and the vice president, right, and they sided with the company. They said Shanahan sided with the company, right? They ain't knew. The one full-time said, I had to walk out, Jim. I was going to go ballistic, right? So when is Shanahan going to stand up? Listen, everybody knows what Shanahan says. Well, the company can do whatever they want to do. do. Yeah. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. And they put the post up. So many people said things. One guy said, I called Shanahan in January. He never even got back to me. How are you going to be a principal officer and not get back to somebody, right? Furthermore, let's talk about down in Union Hall. You got the principal officer arguing with a part-timer. Every time he comes down, he arguing with him. Well, I don't see you put no grievance Bill Shanahan. I don't see you put no grievance in part time like you ain't understand what I'm saying. Well, Bill Shanahan, I don't see you putting no greetings in. Why every time this part time would come down there, you argue with him. You the principal officer and you argue with a part time, what you need to do is say, listen, go on. We'll meet afterwards and talk about it. Right. Every time you can't keep coming down there, you the principal officer, you argue with a part time and a part time what you need to do is go down there on Friday night and find out what he's talking about. Right. If he keep coming to say that every union meeting, it must be a problem. Right. So you saying you don't understand what he's saying, go down there and go on the belt and stand there and watch what he's saying. You agree or disagree? I agree. We we had this conversation with uh with those guys years ago about going down there on Friday nights and Saturday because it was a real big problem. They never went. They went here and there or whatever. They don't right. go, you know. And, that, and, and this thing about it is, there is no shop store there on Saturday. So there needs to be somebody there, right? One day, me and Clarence went in there. Didn't tell nobody. We went in there, supervisors working everywhere. We filed grievances and everything, you know. But the thing is, this is what they should be doing. This is what they get paid to do. The building is open, what, 24-7? We then we talked about it. The building Somebody is open 24-7. And what we said is that if we get elected, what we're going to do, right, is we're going to have two BAs work daytime, three work night, and we're going to switch it. Well, you know me. I'm going to be down there 24-7. <laughs> right. So, you know, I don't, I don't sleep anyway. Right. Yeah, but it, it's a problem because the members keep saying the same. Like you said, they come down to the hall and they say the same thing over and over again. But their problems don't get fixed because... At this point, I just don't think the E board cares anymore. I don't know they if they, don't. I don't know if they know that their time is up and they just try to ride this last six months out, or whatever the case may be, or whatever it is. But you know, it, it, the board is falling apart. It's falling apart with all this stuff that's going on. You have Malley, he stepped down. You got now you got Morris running. Uh, uh, Wharton be quit. Um, now I'm hearing that Johnny may retire. Oh, oh, now, 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 okay. Now I found out the real deal. I, I got the P.I. I got all the detectives on everything. Now this is what happened. This is why Wharton B. Quiddle got fired. Wharton B. daughter was going to college. He wanted to go to college with his daughter for that day. Right. Shanahan said, no, you got to stay here. Something was going on like that. So Wharton B. took his daughter to college. What would you have did? That's what now. That's that's what the that, that's what the fight was about. Now check this out. Now the underlying message is this. I don't know if you paid attention to this. They went. It was a two man meeting. Wharton shouldn't even have went anyway. Right. It was just supposed to be Morris and Shanahan. That's what the two man the two man committee was for. For some reason, the principal officer wanted to spend extra money to take two more BAs down there. It's dizzy with him too, right? Right. I'm dizzy with him. Right. Yeah. 
So for some reason, I have no idea. Now, now this is just me. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying it's me. Now, they went down there to vote. Now, if I got, if I take two extra people with me, that's going to make the vote go more on my side. To me, that's why they took those two guys, extra guys, because they knew it was going to be kind of tight because there's a lot of principal officers in the country who actually stand with their members. Ours don't here. Right. So let me take two extra people to bolster the vote up so that way I can look good in front of Hoffa. And listen, I got my two extra guys. They're going to vote with me. That's just my thinking. So Warman shouldn't even have been in the, in the equation, or, or is he? It should have just been Morris right. and Shanahan because they went to the two-man committees and, and all this other kind of stuff throughout the whole time. Now when it's time to vote, you take two extra people for what? So Warby shouldn't even have been there. Or is it? It should have just been the same two that's been there. Right. So they're going to spend extra money for what? So what do you say? I mean, now, if your daughter was going to college, and you had to take her to college for that first day. What would you have did? I would have, I would have took my daughter to college. I would let him go. That would have been me. But the thing is, no one, you know, the specification of the situation, two men were supposed to go anyway. Right. It was only supposed to be two men anyway. Right. Because now, now I know the last Phillies game, when all the members, I mean, they got 20, what they got? 20 tickets? 200 tickets? I don't know. I forgot how many tickets. They got 100 tickets? 100 tickets, something like that. But what happened is Shanahan come to the Phillies game, so he gave Kevin Malley his truck because his son was having a graduate, his son friend was having a graduation party, right. so he couldn't make it. So what's the difference? Wharton be taking his daughter to the school mm -hmm. and Shanahan not coming to the Phillies game. <laughs> I mean, what's the difference? Right. I, you're right. I mean, you can't have it both ways. Right. You can't have it both ways. I mean, you know, like I said, we don't know the whole thing. Well, that that that's, that that you know was the key. Saying? That you know? set it off. I mean, I found added me more to it than that. No, soon as soon as late. I mean, you gonna find the pieces, bits and pieces. Right. You gonna find them, right? Right. Just like they saying it's worth it, right? And wouldn't be will come out and tell us what happened. We wouldn't have this round. See, now we got to put the beast and bits and pieces together. First, they saying it's worth it. He was uh, he was a was a bad ba. He wasn't taking care of business, right? right. Now they saying about the daughter, this and that, right? Listen, why don't you tell it? Just tell it what the problem. Right. Yo, he was mad enough to come sit down, him and Mars, and have a meeting with the other side, right? And try and get a slate together, right? Well, he tell what happened. People want to know what happened. Everybody guessing this and that. They don't know whether he got fired or whether he quit. <laughs> right. I mean, at this point, man, it, it, it's, like I said, the whole. The he's whole, still talking about it. Right, they're still talking about it. And, and, like, the whole board, man, it's just in shambles. I never seen, we was talking about this uh, Monday. They was talking about it on the belt. Like, they never seen the board just in right. disarray like this. They never seen it. I mean, you got this one over here doing their own thing. Yeah. You got this one over here doing their own thing. This one going retired. This one quit. This one got fired. Now the president, he going to run against, you know, and, and all this other kind of stuff. I've I, I never seen it like this. All right. So, listen, we're going to skip around. We got a lot of stuff going on in the local, right? So, we're going to talk about that again. It was a hearing last Monday. With labor, class bad, we was there. Dizzy was there, right? Dizzy at the shop store to give up seven grievances to say that we're gonna show the new labor manager that, that we're working that with. That happened like that happened like a month ago. Okay, okay, okay. Well, like, a month that, ago. the whole the seven grievances happened, but but there was a uh, he did sit down with the labor manager last week, but the seven grievances he gave up was like a month ago. Yeah, no, no. But the my point is right. The seven grievances, right? Right. He said, get the seven grievances up. We want to let the new labor manager right. know that we're going to work with him. So he gave seven grievances up, right? Right. So they had a hearing last Monday or two Mondays ago. Uh, oh, well, don't yeah, make a difference. Right. They had a hearing. Right. They had the hearing. Whenever they had the hearing, right. they had the hearing, right? right? Now, the labor manager get mad and storms out. <laughs> so what did we get the seven grievances up for? Dizzy? Nothing. I mean, come on now. I mean, uh, uh, nothing. I mean, I, I, I asked class, your class. What did you get for giving him up? He said he didn't get anything. So now when we want what the contract says we're supposed to get, the, the uh, labor manager just gets mad and storms out. He just gave you seven agreements. How much more are we supposed to give up? Oh, so you think that's something? Everybody knows, you know. I, I, I'm going to find out what's going on. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a, I know all, with all the bodies buried. I keep telling you that, right? right. So now right. the labor manager mad because they're asking for the penalty. Right. He, he hot. That's he what I'm saying. Right. He hot, that's he what I'm saying. 
And that, and that, that was my that was my thing to, to Izzy at the meeting. How much more are we supposed to give up? Right. He done gave up seven. Right, right. For nothing. Right. Now got nothing. So now he didn't pay us on time. What he got was he made Dizzy look good. Right, right, right. That's what he got. So, so now I'm, mean, and that's my issue with this whole grievance process. How much are we supposed to give? How much? I mean, because you got all these younger members who want to get involved. They get involved, they take a chance, and they get screwed. Now they, now they don't want to do it no more, and you get mad with them. Oh, file a grievance. Well, I filed a grievance, and you sold me out. So what's the remedy to it? Clarence gave up seven for nothing. Right, right. Didn't get anything for it. He goes back in there because you shortchanged us, and you get mad. He just gave up seven. As long as I know Clarence, I ain't never know Clarence to get nothing up. I ain't never known him to get nothing up. When they told me I was floored, I never asked him to get nothing up, right? <laughs> right. I mean, I mean, it's, I mean, I mean, it's, it's just sad, right? It's just sad. So now I'm on the bus this morning, right? Mm -hmm. Got to talk about Mangler, right? Getting slammed, white right? but getting slammed, right? He got three trucks up top. Three trucks up top is unsafe. Right. You understand? Know saying Reggie on the other side, right? No split or nothing, right? They like jump. This is BS. I'm like, yeah, it is BS. I said, I'm going to split the belt, right? They said, jump. When is something going to change? Mangler told me, jump. Y'all keep saying this, y'all keep saying that. I said, Mangler. Like, the people don't vote, ain't nothing we can do. He told me, jump. Something got to change. Something right. got to change. Right. So now, I had to get propane. But I don't know what that was. Tuesday, Wednesday. Tuesday morning, I had to go yesterday. I had to go get propane. Mm -hmm. I see Kissy. Me and Kissy talk, right? Listen. And I don't know what to tell her. I just don't know what to tell her. She got 14 years. Shannon got 18 years, right? Yeah. And I don't know what to tell them. They said, Jim, something got to give. Something got to give. You mean to tell me 14 years, she done signed all these bids, nothing never came her way? Nothing never came her way? Shannon, 18 years, right? Listen, yeah. something got to give. A part timer for 14 years is too long. 18 years is ridiculous. Yeah. And, you know, they know Kissy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They know her. Everybody you know what I'm saying, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. They want to avoid her. But listen. Not just Kissy and Shannon. Part timers deserve full time job. All right. Now, feeder drivers. I'm not beating y'all up, but we are gonna talk about y'all. It's the feeder drivers. You got 15 feeder drivers laid off, and they said they're waiting for vacation to kick in. Well, people been going on vacations, right? <laughs> right. People been going on vacation, right? No, ain't that right? I'm standing at the gate. I'm standing at the gate. I know what's going on. You understand? Know what I'm saying they shouldn't be laid off. They should not be laid off. It's plenty of work. Man, them trucks rolling out, out of Oregon Avenue. Ooh. I mean, I mean, if I had to take a count. And I mean, you know, I'm standing there, right, right? I know what time they start. And I, I know I, if I'm out the gate, 8, 30, 9 o'clock, they still working. You listen, the 15 feet of driving should be working. They should be working. Vacation will kick in and everything, right? What, what they saying? The vacation will kick in June, July? People taking vacation already. Right. Now, I mean, it's plenty of work. Now, flip the script. The 15 feeder drivers, every year they lay feeder drivers off. They find work for them. Now they found work for them. 15 feeder drivers, hub, preload. All right? So now, why can't they find Kissy and Shannon a job? That means it's 15 jobs available. Right. That's what it means. Right. You know what I mean? You're doing doubles. You're doing doubles on the 12, yeah. doubles on the midnight, right? right? right. That means full time jobs. Right. I, mean, well, I mean, what's the beef? I mean, when are you going to step up? It's always give, 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 give. But listen, these people pay your salary. You know what I mean? They should be able they should get a job. What, what happened is, Kissy and I talk, right? What they supposed to do, they're not doing, on the website, put up, Richard Hooker got this job. You got two weeks to challenge it. How can you challenge it? If it ain't up. Right. Right. Okay. I had Arnold Gordon. Arnold Gordon. Everybody know Arnold Gordon, you know. Everybody laughing when I talk about Arnold Gordon. But let me tell you something. Y'all think he's slow. He ain't slow. So Arnold Gordon went over to a, a guy that just became full-time, right? Mm -hmm. Arnold said, Hook, you full-time? Yeah. What's your seniority? He can't say, jump. I want to file grievance. I got more seniority. I said, but did you sign the bid? He said, yeah, I signed the bid. He said, I want to file grievance, right? I'm like, all right, we file a grievance. But I want to call Joni and Izzy, right? I said, you want to follow grieving or you want to call Joni and Izzy, right? <laughs> right? Well, let me call Joni and Izzy, right? Joni and Dizzy, right? So what happened is, he said, Jumbo, they like, they going to get back with me, right? So two weeks now went by. What happened? You know what I'm saying? What happened is, like you say, transparency. Right. 
Right. If Hooker got a job, it should be posted. Everybody should be able to see it. What are we hiding? What right. are we hiding? Right. Also, I know a lot of guys are, are asking questions about the retro check and what's the status of it. Well, um, as you guys know, they took a vote on March the 5th. March the 5th? Or last week? It might have been last week. They took a vote. Um, the GEB, the General Executive Board from the IBT, took a vote. And they voted not to impose the contracts, the contracts for Western PA and Local 243 in Detroit. Also, um, Local 804 has yet to vote on their supplement. Their uh, voting materials went out, I believe, on the 26th. And they vote on, uh, they count their ballots on April the 9th, around 4 p.m., so, you know, we'll find out more information. And when we find out, we'll, we'll get it to you guys so you guys will know when this contract is going to be implemented and what's going to happen. Because I don't know what's going to happen with the Western PA and Local 243 because they they're didn't going, impose it. No, so, they're going back to the table. Okay, so they're going back to the table. So um, who knows how long it's going to take, guys. But, again, the, we'll let was, you know. The, well, before, before uh, they voted, Everybody was saying that Hopper was going to oppose it, right? right? And they were saying maybe May. Right. Now it looks like hopefully June and July. Hopefully, because they're going to still have, once they come from the table, they're still going to have to vote. And yeah, listen, right, 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 people right. are, people are, oh, I got, you know, people are upset, you know what I mean? They said they're upset with the two locals, right? Well, 2013, they was upset with us. They said that, that, Jumbo, that Jumbo holding our check up. We want our check. Tell Jumbo to be quiet, right? So now, since we're talking about retro track, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I call it, I see it. So what happened is, trustee, shop store, trustee slash shop store down Oregon Avenue, right? Mm -hmm. Part-time is saying, every time they go and ask him where a retro check, he gets mad. Well, if he gets upset, he shouldn't be a trustee. He shouldn't be a shop store, right? They say, jump, he gets angry. Because we said, where my retro check at? Listen. Every time I go in the building, they say, Jump, where my retro check <laughs> yeah. at? Jump, you holding my money up. Mm. Every time where I can't go nowhere, right. talking about Jumbo, where my money at, Jumbo? Get it right, get it right. If he get upset with that, he shouldn't be a trustee slash shop steward. Well, like, now, you, like you said, though, you know, in 2013, you know, they was getting mad at you. Yeah. I was getting mad with you. Yeah. You know what I mean? You holding up the money up. Yeah. And then guess what happened when I got the money? I had to get the team care. Right, right. <laughs> you right. know what I mean? Right. So, you know. It, it, that's what happens. So, you know, I hope these guys keep fighting. And, and, and trust me, you guys are going to get your money. But I don't know if you heard this. Now, this is something that we're going to have to investigate and find out for sure. Now, they're telling people that if they quit before the retro check come, they're not going to get it. Now, our preload manager told me that. And a few other uh, full-timers told me, full-time managers told me that. So is that true or not? It's true. What Are you serious? Our local, our local, our local, Shannon, Shannon had a meeting. Shannon had said, if you, wasn't that question for that? Yeah, he, did. he said he, he going to try to fight it or something. He said that you you should or you're going to, what did he say, should or going to You get should it. get it or something. He said you should get it, right? And they were telling members, if you quit, then make sure before you leave, the union hall got your right number, you got the right, number for right. the union hall, you call down there, right? But it's official that if you quit, you're not getting your retro check. Man, that's jacked up, man. That's jacked up. How can they get away with that? What Hoffa gonna do? <coughs> what local 623 gonna do? They ain't gonna say nothing. Yeah. Man, that's messed up, man. That's messed up. How can't you? Oh. Wow. Oh, so we gotta talk about Sid. Safety, safety segment, Sid. Sid was saying that, look, the fume, uh, fume even open tub. You drive the open tub, fumes are killing you, right? right. Uh, Clothes tug even work. You're saying that uh, with a gentleman, one of our brothers, uh, a couple weeks ago, was driving an open tub. The fume was so bad, he had to go home. Darn. Yeah, say, yeah like you always say, safety's a joke in that place. Yeah. No kidding about safety. Bathrooms is all jacked up. You know, we got articles in the contract for, for, sanita for sanitary conditions. They don't care. Um, it's just, you know, OSHA. I don't even know if OSHA exists to you, too. People call them. Man, OSHA in their pocket, man. You know OSHA in their pocket, man. And, and all this stuff, yeah. they go on, man, and they throw bags from the top. So and, and it, it's just bad in there. It's just bad, period. It ain't just OSHA now. We call our joint council president a <laughs> couple times. We don't call him no more. We don't call him no more. 
Call him for what? He gives lip service. And that's all he does. We don't call him about everything, right? So they say, jump, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I said, call him for what? What we call him for? We take care of our own problem. And it's sad that we got to call Louisville. We got to call the joint president from Louis, joint council president from Louisville, 90, 94, 94, what is it? I think so, joint council, I think it's not joint council, 94. We call him anything we need, we get. If we need direction or guys, he give it to us. How come our joint council president won't do that? And what you call him said, uh, Ernie, straight director. Ernie, yeah. Ernie said, jump, I want you to work with the joint council president. He's a good man. Well, Ernie, I'm working with him. I can't get no answers. <laughs> Now, Jumbo, now, I don't know if you heard this when, when, when uh, you was coming up. And I, and I don't know if you heard this. Now, you know how right now it's a 5% threshold for when we go to the convention and get, get the uh, candidates on the ballot right. for the delegates, right? Yeah. With IBT, uh, for what I'm hearing, they're supposed to up that to 10% because, you know, they don't they don't want nobody to run against whoever Hoffa picks or if, even if Hoffa oh. runs again. Yeah. Who, who, oh. Whoever runs, right? Yeah. So now, did you hear? Now I heard it. I got a call like a week and a half ago for somebody who was very close to this situation. He told me. Then over the weekend, I read somewhere about that. Now, did you hear anything about them doing that? Well, you know I ain't got no phones, right? So I didn't hear. Anything. You, I mean, had, you know I ain't got no phones. They working on my phone. Oh, I ain't got okay. no phone. Got you. So I ain't talked to nobody. But I find out. Yeah, I make yeah. a call. Find I, out. I, I asked somebody yesterday about that. And they were supposed to be looking into it too, man. Because if that's the case, man. We're gonna have to get everybody we know to that convention, man, because if we don't have enough delegates moving forward, there ain't going to be no election because you ain't going to get enough people out there. You see how it is out there. Yeah, yeah. You ain't getting enough people. Yeah. I mean, look at our joint council. We was only three out of how many? But 70 yeah. in our joint council. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, and who in our joint council is going to run against other people in their, in their locals to get them, you know, as a delegate? I mean, who, who you know? We're probably going to be the only ones for a long time. So, you know, but I, some, but if that's the case, then we, we really got to jump on that, man, because that's 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 going to be a big problem because if you get it, because none of the people go out there. So we got to do something about that, John. We got to. We're going to have to reach out to people, get people motivated, get them involved, because this is crazy. And, and people going to have to run for office. You're gonna to have to. If if you don't run for office, at least at least run for delegate. Right, right. At least do that. That way, you know, you could get out there and so they won't make this change. Because I remember when we was out there in twenty sixteen, one of the uh the uh, joint council members was like, you know, this costing the members a lot of money, having this election, look at this, you can't even get and you know we ain't getting nobody from the West on the ballot because they couldn't meet the threshold. You know what I mean? Well we was fighting Roman Lois, you know, run Roman Lois. He got a, a big bank account. That's who he's fighting. I mean, he got he got a big bank account. I think he showed they, up with him. They, they gonna let him back in, ain't about the time. He already in. He ain't out. He supposed to be suspended for two two years. He's still doing what he's doing. He making more money now on the outside than when he was on the inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I tell they said he gonna run. I think they said he gonna run. Somebody sent me a message saying it could be Hall. Oh, it's gonna be Hall. No, 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 no. I'm, I'll take that back. Now I, I can't tell you this now. Somebody sent me a message saying that Rome could run with your boy. Yeah, I told you Rome probably Rome probably gonna run. Well who? My with, boy? Yeah, Zuckerman O'Brien. And I seen I my message was, how can he do that, man, when you know he got all caught up in the corruption, this, that, and the other. Well and then the board from Chicago, not Chicago, the other board that just got not campus, yeah, but the other board, that he board got caught up in the same thing. So I'm like, man, what's What's going on? I don't know. We're going to see Fred. <laughs> We're going to see Fred in May. We're going to see him in May. We're going to see him in May. I don't know. I'm just a lot of things. We, you know. It's crazy. And man. what happened is, you know what I mean? I don't know, man. I don't know. We see Fred in May, and we find out what's going on. That's all. That's all I can say. I ain't, that's, I ain't. I, that's why, man, I could, I, I, I'm glad I'm not a politician, man. Well, I mean, I'm one, one thing it. about Roma Lois. I mean, if you, get, if you get Roma Lois right, you know, we got to sleep in the West. We know that. And we got a bank going yeah, away. I'm just saying, I know. I, I, they have a hard time voting for O'Brien. I don't know if he's the only one on the slate. I mean, on the ticket. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, well, you know, you got to tell the way it is, you know, because people are not happy with, not happy. I know. So they're not happy. So you going to add a Lloyd's and O'Brien? We got to talk to Fred. <laughs> 
Hey, I'm just saying, somebody sent a message. I didn't, you know, go back and forth with it because. All that political stuff, man, I leave that to the professionals, man. Yeah, well, everybody know. I'm all, hey, listen, whatever Fred says, I'm with you. I'm with you. We might not like it. Y'all might not like it, but we, I accept it. I accept it. The hooker made a statement last week or the week before. Hooker saying whatever the members say, right? Hey, Joe, just come on in, man. Just the door's yo, open. Yo, hooker said whatever the members say, right? Right. So, that's like because think about it, Joe. Uh, no, no, no. But we, we said that I had to think about right. it. Right. Listen, but listen, we, listen. The, we, I'm with Fred. I'm oh, with Fred. I'm, I'm with Fred, Fred too. I'm, I'm with Fred, Fred no too. matter what. You but, know what I mean? But if we had, we get elected, and we had, we gonna have to have this meet with the members, and we are gonna have to talk to them. Hey, listen, we understand what O'Brien has done, and we know how you guys feel about him here at six two three. Now we can't go support him if the members here don't want him. Yeah, but, and then we'd be just like the people in office. Right. Yeah. We'd be just like them. Then we'd be hypocrites. Yeah, because we're already saying, every time I put a post up, they're not, maybe my friends, right? But they saying what they feel. They're not per se beating me up, right? Mm -hmm. Show them how to come up. Show them how to come up. Yo, yeah, he, so, just, you know what I'm saying? saying uh, per se, they're, not, they, they're not beating me up, Hook, right? You know what I'm right. saying, right? But they're making comments, right? They put, they, they saying, you know what I mean? Like my man, Don, Don McCall. I love Don McCall, right? Right. But he's saying he ain't with it. Joe, Joe, what's happening, Joe, man? Joe, come on in, Joe. Get on, come on. Come on get right on it. Come right on. Go ahead, Joe. <laughs> hey, sit down. What's up, man? How you? So give on. us some of your thoughts, brother. Go All ahead. right, hey, we got a special guest. About how long you been working out here? 26 years. 26-year member. Been paying his dues for 26 years. Working hard for 26 years. Me and this guy used to ride the bus together way back in the day. You took 68. The yeah, you should tell him. You know what I mean? So, so Joe, we went. To and he took the bus. He just took the bus from, from work. Straight right. from preload. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should have told us, man. We, we could have ride. Right. One. But, but we uh, appreciate him taking the bus. Go ahead, Joe. Tell the members from your standpoint on what's, how you feel about what's going on and what you think needs to happen. Look, me, me and Rich had a conversation this morning, and it was, I'm 100% with this. These guys, they're not, they're not forcing you you know us to do anything they're 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 educating us as as much as they can right. you know they they care the way that these guys are you would swear that these guys are are the trustee and so on and so on they do more than 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 what we're paying for every week right and it's 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 got to stop now let me ask you a question you remember i told you this but at earlier today had a member um, from Oregon Avenue say, yo, uh, aren't you in office? Yeah. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm just out here trying to make sure you guys are protected. All right, so let me ask you this. How long you been signing the bid trying to get down Oregon Hold Avenue? Hold on real quick. I got to do this. This guy real quick. <laughs> Hold on one second, y'all. I got to do this. All right, good people, you're listening to time. You guys, uh, go to www.spcr.org and hit the donate button. It'll tell you all kinds of things you can do. You could, be, you could be an underwriter. You could just do one-time donation. Whatever you guys feel like doing, make sure you support the show, support the station. Uh, if you enjoy it, and we know you guys do because you tell us, uh, but it's time to put those uh, 
some some action behind those words. All right, we're going to get back into the interview with our brother here. Go ahead, Joe, to tell us what you was telling And the question was, uh, the question was, how long have you been signing the bids to try and get back down working at? I have been signing bids for at least the past over five years. Oh, wow. Now, you've been, you been signing for five years, right? Every time somebody gets the job, do you know who got the job? They don't. He doesn't. They won't put it up. They won't they, tell they you, won't, right? They won't put it up. You, so you, you can't challenge. The last, the last time I was told that the person that got the job, it was it was, it was was a driver. Oh. Now, this is another thing that me and Rich had talked about last week. The last ones that are entitled to any inside or outside, even if it's a ramp job, is supposed to be the full-time employees. If the full-time employee doesn't want it, then it's obligated to the driver to have a chance at that job. Right. So, and I, I know, I know that I'm <laughs> sorry. Right. And I know this from, like I said to him, you know, George, you know, he, he did he, he did his own thing. But this is what I found out from him when I was at Oregon Avenue. Because he had told me himself, the last ones that are able to sign these jobs are the drivers. drivers. And if any driver signs these jobs, you you let you let me know. And sure enough, I'm signing to, to bid to go back out to the airport. And here's driver after driver after driver signing, signing for these bids. And I almost got bumped. But here the driver that had signed for it had wound up going out, didn't tell them that they were going out on disability a week or two prior to them to them getting a job, so it, it disqualified them. And that's the only way that I was able to get the job to go back out to the airport. So do you think, you got two weeks to challenge for a job when you're signing to go to wherever you're trying to go at, right? So do you think the union should post it on the building board, on the website, because you only got two weeks to challenge yeah. How can you challenge it if you don't know? Do you if think you they should do that? Yeah, they should. Yeah. Just like on how you had said about, about the 45 jobs. How are these people supposed to know about these jobs when, when nobody's, when, when, they're not, when they're not saying nothing? Right. So what happened is, even if they say reclassified or whatever they said, reclassified on loan, yada, 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 every member of the local should have got a letter stating that, listen, we moving the guys from PD wall to the rent. We just want the members to know. You know what I mean? So we don't have any problems instead of trying to hide. Because the excuse they gave, the excuse was, uh, Dizzy said that we're getting more planes and we right. get bigger planes, right? Well, we already got the planes. So, and now we come to find out there's a million different stories, right? We can't get one story. I mean, we can't just can't get it straight, right? You right. know what I mean? Right. Twilight, Twilight they're, still, they're, they're, they're still cutting people out at a, at a certain time, knowing that they're still all this work. And it... it it, it heavies on to the full-time employees that are that are still on the clock. Then when they go to take them, when they go to take the lunch, now they got to go to their pay, pay center, get on the, the shift before them, and then there's been certain employees where they've gotten on them. Oh well, you know, such and such, you know, you shouldn't you shouldn't have come back to, you know, now you're late coming off of your lunch. This is the time you're getting paid for, and and it it, it shouldn't it shouldn't. That's that's not their fault. Everyone's entitled to an hour lunch. Yeah, and I know. Right. I think you had a situation. The situation you had that you came in early, if I'm not mistaken, you came in early, right? And supervisor was working. You could have worked, right? Yeah. Because you want to tell the people what happened? <laughs> it was ten. It was ten twenty-five when I when I. <laughs> there you go. It was ten twenty-five when I clocked in. I didn't start till ten thirty. But because of that five-minute grace period, they wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't put me on the clock. But even when I I started, it was I was still, it was still all these supervisors working until I started mentioning and saying, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of this. I'm gonna take care of this. Didn't say what I, just to to put it in the the new full time head that, you know, what was going to happen if he's, and then one by one, he's shooing certain old these soups off, off of the belt. Right. I mean, I, I finished, I finished the work, but I mean, but you should have been allowed to get the five still, minutes. I should have been allowed to get that five minutes. Right, right, right. You're right. You're right. Wow. Yeah, because what happened is a lot of times you come in and it's the same thing. Yeah. And you can count, you know what I mean? 
So what they're going to say is that um, our people went to lunch. No, you let our people go to lunch. Right. And it's still a great day. You know what I mean? Now, Joe, you was at the meeting on the, um, that was your first meeting? Yeah. So being that your that was your first meeting, what was the vibe that you got from 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 what you saw at the Union Hall at our last meeting? One one thing that I, I did like it was it was a lot of a lot of unity and togetherness. Right. But then one thing that did bother me was certain topics that came up. There were other members going at at other members, and it 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 shouldn't it shouldn't be that way. Oh man! Oh, there you go. You good. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you good. Huh? And um, one thing that, that that I do agree with these guys saying earlier, it, and it has to do with um, with something that uh, that Daryl had brought up about you know making a um, making a presence. Yeah. You know, on these on these Fridays and yeah. and Saturdays, and another thing that I agree with these guys, it was a couple weeks ago. That they had said that when these guys do get in the office, and which I really hope that you know yeah, this happens, right. that there will be a lot more shop stewards. Oregon, the difference between the airport and Oregon Avenue. Oregon Avenue is is so small that you only need maybe two or three shop stewards. You have the shop steward, and you have I think it's two alternate yeah, shop yeah, stewards. Yeah. Because, like I said, the building is so small, but you you can hear a, a pin drop in that in that building. It's no matter no matter where you are. But with the airport being so big, there there should there should be more there should be more elected shop stewards because there's so much that that goes yeah, that goes on happen, right. that 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 shouldn't shouldn't be tolerated. Right. Right. Yeah, so what happened is you talked about that, Vaughn. We talked about that before you came yeah. in there, right? That we said, when we, when we said that the principal officer shouldn't be off uh, arguing with a uh, part no, time. He shouldn't. What he should have did was say, Dial, I'll take you in the back. We'll talk afterwards, right? Every time Dial comes there, he go toe to toe yeah, yeah. with him, right? And we went over there. If you don't understand what he's saying, show up down there and you find out what he's yeah. talking about. Right. That's the only way. You know what I mean? We talked, we talked about that right before you got in. Yeah. And, and another thing that that should that that should have been done during this past, past peak season is again a, a, a union official presence should have been right. at this building for every single shift from preload to daytime twilight including midnight they had more training suits oh man yeah working than yeah. part-time suits full-time suits you know it, it it's it, it it's getting, it's out of hand. It is. It they, is. they don't, they don't whatever they want to do. Whatever they want to yeah. do. Whatever whatever they do. And, and, and another thing that, that you had, <laughs> the, the hearing that took a couple of days ago, um, why you're, what is he? He's the, the trustee, right? Trustee, yeah. yeah. Well, no, no, I'm, I'm the trustee. Uh, I'm the trustee. No, uh, Shanahan's a principal officer. officer. Oh, okay. Well, why, why would you, why would you sit there and, and not let your shop store in, in, in the hearing, what is what is and what, what is there to hide? Right, and that's the thing. The shop steward has and, and all again, the information and everything. We're we're paying we're paying you to protect us, but yet you're fighting the members. You're you're fighting us, right. and you're <laughs> you're taking you're taking our money, but you're 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 fighting more for the company than than, than right. you are us. And right. Yeah. It's since you said that, that perfect example. I'm glad you brought that up. You shop to it for the red. You shop to it for the blue. Shanahan saying, because you're in red, you can't go over and help the blue. Blue can't go help the red, right? It, now, doesn't, it doesn't matter where. Right. He, where he, he's saying you can't. He's saying you can't. So we had a perfect situation. The situation we had was that Clan, something happened with a mule. Clan Smart was the shop to He was doing the hair, right? The guy said, I want Richie Hooker. He said, I want Richie Hooker, right? Well, Clan Smart said, well, you can't drive no more, right? He said, Clarence, I want Richard Hooker. Richard came down and made the same call. The, you with the, the member was happy. You should be able to get whoever you want if you pay yeah. you to do. The member was happy. That's all we're saying, right? Listen, you can't say red versus blue. Blue can't go help red. Blue can't help red. You know what I'm saying? The chapter is whoever they want. You got to be there. I had an incident. It was a few years ago, and they, they, they tried to say I was no call, no show, but I, 
but I called, and it, again, it, you know, this is what they give us the same book for. Right. It, it says that <clears throat> in order for any form of action to be taken against the employee, it has to be verbally done within 48 hours. Now, here we go. Four days, four days now, it, 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 another 48 hours, another two days goes fast, and I'm, I'm, I, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, because I, I, I know what to say. I know how to defend myself right. on that. I'm like, you can't say anything to me, because you should have said something to me two days ago. You can't. And whatever the shop steward that they, that they, that they brought, I think he was from Corsair. Okay, He's yeah. a real, real, real short guy. Yeah, they tell and, and I'm like, and and first of all, like, who are you to, to bring whatever, whatever shops to her over here? I was like, I don't. <laughs> and I pulled out my phone and, oh well, you can't, you can't, you can't, you, you can't, you can't use your phone at, at this time. And I was like, all I did was just go to Messenger because because we, we had talked earlier that day. Right. And I was like. I think I'd, I'd send him like an angry face or something, and and but like that quick, he, you know, what, you know what's going on, right? And I, I was like, you know, I was like, could you? And sure enough, he, as the shop steward was walking away, he came over, but we still talk. He's like, you know, what happened? And I and I told him. He's like, he's like you, he's like you, you handled it the way that you, that that, you know, you should have. Right. I mean, but you know, these 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 guys got to go. I mean. Well, that's the thing, Joe. I mean, we're going to have to get people to really understand that, you know, they have to go. They're going to have to put it on paper. Yeah. You know, we, they always tell us, look, are we tired of these guys? Jumbo, man, these guys got to go. And you tell us, everybody tell us. But but are they going to put it on paper, though? That's, that's, the, that's the issue. Like you said, when you came down to the hall for your first meeting, everybody was on one accord. Everybody was in unison. Yeah. I, I've never seen that before. Never. And I saw the looks on the Ebor face. They look like wow, this this we in trouble. But again, are the members going to put it on paper? It doesn't matter how many slaves run. Right. It doesn't right. matter. Right. It really doesn't. It could be a hundred. Right. You guys have seen what we've done. We told you this way back in 2015, 2016. We never stopped. We told you we was going to do all these things, and we did it without being in office. Yeah. Without being with the title and all this and, stuff. And another thing that, that had got me at, at that meeting was the on how the, the feeder driver about his break time and his, yeah. and his and his meal time. Yeah. And what was Shanahan's re response, which as usual response, as usual, say what it is. Um. Well, I'm just finding out about this yeah. now. Yeah. And I must have been I must have been out I was out of town. I was, I was out of town. Yeah. Okay. When when George Ruggieri before he, before he retired, I was like I said at Oregon Avenue. He gave me his cell phone number and his home phone number, and said, "Anytime you need me, no matter what it is, if I'm able not able to get back to you right then and there, I will make it an appoint to get right back to you." And sure enough, every single time I called him, a text message or a phone call was was returned. What is, what is Shanahan's excuse? I know. We just went over that. It was a member that posted on Facebook. He said he called Shanahan in January. Shanahan never got back to him. No email, no nothing, nothing at all. And, I mean, the same thing. You know, they saying, yo, Joe, all we get is a voicemail. Call down the there. What showed you last night? The the the, the Muppet thing. Yeah, yeah, that was bad. That was real bad, man. I mean, it, it's 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 bad, man. Them guys, like and like you said earlier, Clarence is the steward. He has all the information. He knows everything that's going on with, you know, with those two members. For them not to allow him in there, you know, that's number one. You're showing weakness in front of the company. Yeah. You're, you're showing that there's the divide, and that's the one thing. And you're, you're, you're not only, and you're showing the members weakness as, as, as Right, well. right, and that's the one thing I've always pride myself. I, I, I have issues with the board, I, you know, I don't like the way they do things, but the one thing I'll never do is when I'm inside that building, I will always act like they're the best BA, the best whatever, I'm always going to talk to them and, and treat them with respect, you know, because I don't want the company to see 
that there is a divide, and I don't want the members to see. Yeah. Even though they know, well, let me cut you off. But I don't want them to see what's going on at the let building. Let me cut you off. I, I don't. That's you, just me. You, you can do what you want to do. Right? <laughs> they already told me. Labor already. The manager already told me I'm a jump. Y'all got problems, and guess what? We love it. Yeah. And the they more problems y'all have, the more we can do. Yeah. The more we can get away with. Right. And they know that. They yeah. know. They know that. And they they know that. They so know what that. happened is, I want to thank Joe for coming down because we keep telling the members, you got to come down. Right. Come they want to hear from. They don't want to hear from us. All them guys saying the same thing. Right. You got a member here right. that's saying what it is. Right? right. Another thing, like Hooker said, change got to come. Yeah. 2013, Hooker and I was fighting like the cats and dogs. Right. Now, Hooker said, Hooker bag. We were all yeah. seen. We were on the same page. Right. We seen how bad it was. You know what I'm saying? And it's just bad. It, it's just bad. It you is. know what I'm saying? Nobody's saying that we can fix it. Like I said last week, Rich Carroll said jump. They doing so much damage. We, we don't know can't fix it, right? We don't know if y'all gonna be able to fix it. Right. That's how much damage they doing. Right. Because labor, look, labor doing whatever they want to do. Right. Everybody's doing what they, they want to do. They doing. They doing. They doing whatever they want to do. They doing whatever they do. I just shake my head. I'm like, look, man, I, I ain't fighting with you. I said, listen, them guys there. Oh no. So let me go over this. This is what happened. Two Mondays ago. I'm walking out the building, eight thirty, quarter to nine, right. Shop store never talks to me. He never ever talked to me. Driver shop store never talked to me. Never talks to me, right? So I'm with some. I'm with what? Bobby B, Dawn, Raphael, right? They said jump. They kicked me off the clock. They kicked me off the clock. So he comes way over. So I'm a jump. Supervisor working. What you gonna do? I said, what you want me to do? Right. Tell me what you want me to do. Right. You gonna do anything? I tell the three who wanted for the grievance. I said who wanted for the grievance? No, only one person. Bobby B wanted for the grievance, right? So we put two grievances in, right? I said, so Shanahan, no, me Shanahan and buddy, right? They want to play games now. Now, they want to play games now. So now, all of a sudden, he's been putting grievances in. Now he want to come get me. You understand what I'm saying? What is he looking for, a fight? You understand know what I'm saying? No, I think, I think what it is is it's, everybody knows they're done. They're done. So they, they got to try to find something to grasp on to to try to say, well, these guys are not doing the job. These guys are not doing that. They got to find something. They can't. They, they gotta find. They can't just say, "Okay, you guys, you guys are right. We're wrong. We're gonna vote for you guys." Cause I, I walked out, maybe about last week. Driver, talked to him for about an hour, and at the end of the conversation, the, what I got from it is he just wanted to know, "Hey, listen, Hooker, you guys been doing the right thing for the last few years. We like what you've been doing. You're putting us on the map as being a strong local, positive local, right?" Um, but we just want to know, you know, we know we need change, but we just want to make sure you're the right person for it. So we had a long conversation, and that's and that's what he wanted to know. So listen, with that bylaws change that you did, and the whole country talking about it. Right. So when I tell you the whole country talking about it, the whole country talking about it, right? And why why we couldn't be on the same page? Why we had to take them on to do this? You know what I'm saying? Right. To say that the members are supposed to know. The members, you pay out to pay their salary. You should be able to know what's going on any time. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad, I'm glad you said that because you brought this up last week about the you had got there you all had got there before nine o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're we're us. We're 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 the ones paying for that building. Right. That's right. So we should be allowed all right, you know, maybe not like in the the actual seating area, but you know, you should still at least be allowed to use the bathroom. Right. Right. You know, what if what if what if it was pouring down rain outside? Like, you know, man, that would that would have been messed <laughs> up, man. <laughs> so you don't know, you don't know. Since, since 2012, I've been getting there five, five thirty, six o'clock, and they won't use, they won't open the door. They won't let me use the bathroom. And just like Gary Pizzo said last week, they won't even give me no keys. They won't give me nothing. It's okay though. But like I said before, right? The members voted for me, right? I'm going to fight for the members. I'm going to fight for the members. The members voted Rob Wharton be in. As trustee, they right. voted him in. He quit or got fired. You can't quit on a member. You know what I'm saying? They try to make me quit. I just laugh. And the big guy told me, he said, jump. Don't let nobody punk you. You know what I'm saying? Right. But what happened is, my point is, right, Rob Wharton be should have never, the people voted for him. Right. And when you, that's a slap in the face for you to quit. Slap in the face. You're supposed to stay there and fight for the member. Right. Well, mm -hmm. well, now he running. He running for the office now. To, you know, him, Morris, and uh, Tommy. 
Yeah, well, so, yeah. Well, 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 what be down Oregon Avenue now? People coming up to ask him a question, he won't answer the questions. People saying the light, you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> but what I'm saying, right, listen, like I said, we saying that we think we can do a better job with the help of the membership. That's all we saying. You know what I'm saying? And like I tell everybody, put it down there. Three you're, years, three you're years. Vote three, us out. Three years. Yeah. You're in three years. You say you don't like what I'm doing. I ain't running. I ain't running. I go home, stay home. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> I have to be home sometimes anyway, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, but you're right, though, man. I, I, I'm we're out. Just, I mean, I'm down. Three we, years, I'm we, out. Right. We just want the opportunity to show you, you say, what we yeah, can do. You know yeah. what I mean? Because what happened is, Because we can't keep going. And here's the road. thing we say. We might not be able to change everything, but this is the one thing we saying, right? Every member will be treated with respect and dignity. You know what I mean? You, you know what I mean? And that's that's the key. You're not going to take a member and fire him, just fire him because you feel like firing. That's not going to happen. Right. It's going to be somebody around. You know, and it's going to be a BA around, and it's going to be a lot of shop stores around. And we're going to have seminars, training, training right. the shop stores and everything. Right? Listen, this firing people on the spot is going to stop. You understand what I'm saying? These guys, the feeder drivers got fired, should have worked on the Article that 7. That was a slap in the face. Jimmy Hughes should have been working on the Article 7. Jimmy Hughes lost $2,000 five days. Nobody know what he lost the five days for. Right. He ended for three different things. You know what I'm saying? Some, something got to give. The members had to be respected, right? And not only that, listen, 75 jobs, yo, 75 jobs, and we in, and we all let stay there for the next contract. Listen, we coming for 150. We coming from 150 for the door, 150 for the door, right? We might settle for 125, 25 every year, but 75 jobs, right. 75 jobs over the life of the country. Come what, on, man. Guy, 110. Come on, man. Yeah, 110. 75 jobs over, over. Come on, man. And a 400 dollar pension increase. And and, and and we going for a pension increase. We haven't had a pension increase in how long? I don't know. How long should we have pension I, increase? I can't tell you. The crew rate has always been the same, so I, I don't know. So we do a pension rate and we do full time jobs. And, you know, I don't know, a lot of things a lot of things gotta change, right? Yeah. Because I also think that if Hooker gets fired, if Hookers get fired, twenty two, three jobs, I think it should go to a part time, not around the circle. You know what I'm saying? I think once a twenty two three get fired, he's no longer with the company, right? That job should go to a part time, not just in the circle. Right. You know what I mean? Because that's like we losing the job if you go in the circle. You're right, not feeling right. it. It's going to certainly lose the right, job. Right. That's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I went to a few a few part-timers that, that I know that, that, that actually work, and they've been signing the dovetail list. They've been putting their name on, on you know, with, uh, on every single bid sheet. And I, I said, I was like, you know, I have, I have 30 days to, you know, to qualification for, you know, the bid that I took. Right. Once my once my once my bid goes up, sign it. Put, right. put your name on. Right. Oh well, what's what's that going to be? The Twilight Midnight. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, I'm being dead serious. Put your name on. Right. And so what happened is, I talked to some part time right. Recently, they don't know what the tell this is. Nobody ever told them. No, that's that's it. sad. That's that that's that's, that's sad. That's where that's where you know once again our our officials are our fault because they they should be they should be telling even at, at these at these union meetings they should be telling everyone you know and explaining them you know what's the dovetail is you know certain jobs are going up for bid I had, I had said to him and remember this after after every peak season um. Jobs go up. Jobs go. Up, jobs go up for bid. Whether it's for Oregon Avenue, whether whether it's for the ramp. Well, why didn't why didn't that happen this year? But it did. But it did last year and the year before that, and so on and so on. So I I say something to Shanahan about that. Oh well, um, there's the reason for that. There's there's no there, there, there's no jobs to be created. Um, okay, then are you going to inform that to all, right. to all the 40, you're going to inform the 40, 40 guys at Oregon Avenue about that too? Because every year those guys, those guys bid for different positions right. Right. In, in the building, whether it's the responder. Oregon Avenue. Yeah. Yeah. But we the we, same union, same contract, right? But two different buildings. Why? Why? We're all supposed yeah, to be on one. Things, right. So I got a question for you. 
Well, Joe, we're going to get rid of guy here, man, but just say something to the people, you know, what what you hope they'll do to this upcoming election cycle. You know, just give them a word. Hey, listen, man, you know, tell them, tell them how important this is to you that we get new leadership. It's 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 very important, not just for me and and, and my family, for for every for every 623 brother and sister out there. You know, these guys are the real, the real thing. You know, they're they're here to take care of us. You know, and I guess that's all I have to say. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All, right. All right, well. I'll get it at you. Why well, you not close it out? I'll uh, close it out. Oh, yeah. No, so what I'm saying, I want to thank Joe for coming down. Y'all got to come down here and say how you feel and what's going on, what's wrong, right? Hooker got to give you the number. You can call yada, yada, yada. You know what I mean? But what happened is we, we were trying to find out a date when the 15 feeder drivers are going to go back on the road. The feeder drive, that's what they want to know. How long they got to be inside? Just, just you know, I mean, you keep saying vacation. Vacation's already kicking in. You know what I mean? And I'm going to say goodbye to everybody, and I got to say what I say. TDU sucks. Uh, <laughs> well, you got to cut that out. <laughs> All right, good people. We're going to get out of here. We hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for Joe for coming out. Thanks a lot, Joe. And, you know, and we appreciate hope we get everybody else to come on out. It, you know, please, please come on out. Show, 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 you know. <laughs> Tell everybody, you know, what your concern is, because everybody hear from us, but it's also uh, better if they hear from other members. Right. All right, so come on out, uh, 17th and McCain, every Wednesday, 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., uh, South Philadelphia Community Radio. If they need a ride, we'll try to pick them yeah, up. Yeah, you need a ride, we'll try to come get you. Um, just, just let us know in advance so we can make, you know, arrangements and everything. But, again, don't forget to donate. Um, and be an underwriter, uh, whatever you want to do, uh, be, uh, www.spcr.org. It, it'll walk you through the steps of what you need to do. You know you guys like the show. You tell us all the time, so uh, make sure you donate uh, to the station. Uh, we want to give a big shout-out to our, our the manager, uh, Chris Randolph. Very, very good dude. He gave us a shot. And so we want to make sure that, you know, uh, everybody knows the man behind the scenes. All right, so we're going to get out of here. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. And don't forget, there's one thing for you to keep telling us how much you appreciate what we do and send us messages and the phone calls. And, and I appreciate it. If anybody that I rubbed the wrong way because I'm not, you know, as, as enthusiastic as I normally was, listen, we went through this in 2016. We heard everybody say, hey, we got you. We got you. We're going to vote for you. And guess what happened? After the dust had settled, we were 37 votes short, but we did take a seat. So we're good, and we're thankful for that. But this time, we got to get the whole team in there. You know what I mean? We just can't settle for one seat. We got to get the whole team in there. You guys keep telling us these guys got to go. Well, it's time for you guys to prove it. If you want to have more moments like we had at the Union Hall with the bylaw amendment, then you got to vote for us. Just, just, because there ain't nobody else doing anything. Ain't nobody had, no one has done anything. So again, make sure you vote. You're going to get out of here. We love you guys. God bless you guys. 623 Lives Matter.